Hello and welcome to Caveo Bite Size Learning. Today's topic is the installation and basic setup of the Caveo for Salesforce Express app. Bite Size Learning videos are as short as they are sweet, so let's get started. If your organization uses Salesforce to manage your customer experience via their CRM tools, knowledge base, community, and case management tools, and you've been thinking about upgrading your search experience with Caveo, now is a great time to do so. With the Coveo for Salesforce Express Edition, you can get started at no cost and upgrade your experience as your needs expand. Coveo for Salesforce Express not only provides an outstanding and easy to modify user interface on top of your Salesforce index, but even more importantly, it gives you access to our powerful analytics engine, as well as Coveo Machine Learning, which provides query suggestions for the people searching and adjusts the rankings of results based on search, click, and page view activity. To get started, the first thing you'll need to do is log into your Salesforce org. Once logged in, go to the App Exchange where you can search for Coveo. You'll see Caveo self-learning search for Salesforce come right up. Select the app and choose the option to get it now. The app exchange will ask you to choose a login option if you're not already authenticated. Once authenticated, you'll be presented an option to install either in production or in a sandbox. Since this demonstration is in a developer org, there is no sandbox, so I am installing in production. For most Coveo customers, however, the best practice would be to install in a sandbox copy of your production environment first in order to configure and test before going live. You will want to make sure to read and understand the terms and conditions and check the box to indicate that you've done so. At this point, you can click the Confirm and Install button and the process will start with Salesforce asking to verify your credentials to ensure the app is going into the right org. At the next step, choose the option to install for admins only and then click the Install button. You'll be asked to approve third-party access for a range of sites which are required in order for all Coveo features to work properly. Please grant the access and click on the Continue button. The actual installation step may be quick, but can also be delayed. If Salesforce cannot complete the step immediately, you'll be presented with a notice that the installation will continue in the background and that you will be notified when it is complete. In this case, the installation happened quickly and clicking Done takes us to the setup page where you'll find the app and can click Configure to move to the next step. Had there been a delay, then once you got the email notification of completion, you could click on the setup link at the top of your Salesforce console, and then find the installed packages link either by scrolling down to the build section or by filtering in the navigation bar. When using the navbar filter, remember not to hit return or click on the search button, or you'll be taken somewhere unexpected. Once you click on the configure button, you'll be given an option to create a new Kaveo org or link to an existing one. If you do not already have one, click the create new option. At this point, you'll be be presented with three options, including Enterprise, which creates a full Caveo index, allowing you to index and search content from many types of systems in addition to your Salesforce content, as well as the Express offering and the free offering, which is effectively a limited version of Express. We will go ahead and choose the free offering for this demo. Click Choose and enter an org name to continue. Once this process is done, you'll be presented with options to review documentation, check out our microsite on the topic, and dive into the configurations. We'll go ahead and configure a search page at this time. When you click the Set up a Search Page button, Coveo for Salesforce will examine your index and offer suggestions as to the different sections of the search page you might want to make available. To keep things simple, I'll limit my search page to an All Content tab, a Case tab, and a Knowledge tab. We click the Create Page button, and our search comes up showing all of our content. But, you'll notice an error at the top of the screen due to default permissions which must be changed by an administrator. The instructions for making that change are linked on the page. I'll walk you through them here. First, you'll want to go back to your setup page and filter for and click on Connected Apps in the left navigation bar. Once your Connected Apps list shows up, find Coveo for Salesforce and click on the Edit link. In the Coveo for Salesforce app pages OAuth policy section, change the permitted users setting to admin approved users are pre-authorized. You'll get a dialog box requesting confirmation. Confirm, then save. You'll be back at the connected apps list, and you'll want to click on the label entry for Coveo for Salesforce this time. Here, we are going to specify those approved users. You can do so based on profiles or permission sets. I'll demonstrate using profiles. Just click the button, choose the profiles you want, and save your changes. If your organization uses permission sets, you can do a similar set of steps with those. For the final step, navigate back to your installed packages and click on the configure link for the Caveo for Salesforce app. 
and choose the Advanced Configuration option. In that section, change the Admin Identity Fallback option to Disallow and save your changes. We'll go back into Kaveo Search by finding it in our tabs and we can see that the error message has gone away. This page can be edited via our easy to use drag and drop editor, although that will be a topic for another bite sized learning. To see what things look like in the Coveo backend, go to platform.cloud.coveo.com. Instead of a native login, the Cloud Admin Console allows you to authenticate via Google, Office 365, or Salesforce. Since we created our org from within Salesforce, we'll click that option to perform the SSO handshake. Once in, we can see and search what is in your Salesforce index in the content browser. Additionally, you'll see the search control panel where you can manage your query pipelines as well as conditions which drive those pipelines and A-B testing to validate your changes. Below that is the analytics section which allows you to view and create reports and browse visit activity. In the free version, several of these features are locked but are available in the Express and Enterprise editions. Finally, in the organization section, you can give access to other members of your organization, arrange them into groups with various permissions, generate API keys to allow access to advanced features, and view recent activity in the Cloud Console. If we go back into Salesforce, we can do a search and see our Coveo formatted results. One way you can make it easier to get to your Coveo page would be to add a tab for it by clicking the plus, Choosing the option to customize and add Coveo Search to your selected tabs. For comparison purposes, we can do the same search in Salesforce's out-of-the-box search and note the significant improvement in usability. There are a great deal more features to explore in the Coveo for Salesforce integrations, including the free, express, and enterprise editions. These and other follow-on topics are covered in other Coveo Bite Size Learning videos. Thank you for watching this edition of Coveo Bite Size Learning. Please share this with your team and subscribe to the Coveo Insights channel in order to keep your search implementation relevant.